Morning, guys. Hey. Oh, Joe, what is, um, what is antebellum? Antebellum, um, that is when you are against bellum, you know? You think bellum is very bad, so you would be very anti-it, you know? <laughs> Why am I trying to impress you? You're not a babe, I don't have a clue. <laughs> <clears throat> well, the strict Latin meaning is before the war, but most historians just use it in reference to the civil. <laughs> nice bluff. <laughs> so what about you? Have an English test or something? Oh, it's worse, Joe. PSATs. Oh, geez, the college exams. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Maybe. But if I screw this one up, I can forget about getting into a decent college. Which, of course, means I'll never get a decent job. And what kind of woman wants to date a loser like that? I'll end up a poor, pathetic, lonely little guy with no chance at happiness. So you're saying it'd be a lateral move? <laughs> Joe! What? Look, Matt, the downside about going to one of those good schools is that you're surrounded by a bunch of smart girls. I mean, don't you want to go to a really great party school like in Florida? Why, Joe, thank you. Thank you for that unique and enlightened perspective on higher education. <sighs> smart girls. And, Matt, you hang in there. And just remember the most important thing is to be perspicacious. I'm going to look that word up, have a very snappy comeback on your desk first thing in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Is this Roman customizing? Yes, uh, yes it is. Although I have to admit the name is a bit misleading. Actually, we customize automobiles here, not Romans. <laughs> However, if I lived in ancient Rome, I would have given them bigger shields and smaller hats. And I'd keep the men in skirts. I like that. <laughs> I think maybe you should open the door and let some of these fumes out. I think they're affecting you. <laughs> hey, Lloyd, can you... Mel! Joey, my baby! What? Oh, my God! Oh, Joey! <laughs> oh, my God, look how big you've gotten! Me? I can't believe how... Yeah, you watch it. How beautiful you look. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I taught my baby well. How you doing? Oh. Joey, I mean, you all grown up and your, your muscles just popping all out, but honey, <laughs> let me just give you a hint, okay? When you wash these kind of shirts, you should do it in cold water. That keeps them from shrinking up and you know. <laughs> okay. You have to meet a couple of people, okay? okay? Hey, Matt, Lou, guys, you have to meet somebody. This is Nell. Uh, she used to live next door to me when I was a kid. Hi. I think I spent more time at her house than I did at mine. <laughs> you know, I was always glad to see my stinky Jill. <laughs> And why did you call him Stinky Joe? Because <laughs> he didn't smell so good. <laughs> but that's a little boy's job. Oh, my goodness, you must be his brother, Matthew. Oh, yeah. You look exactly like Joey looked when he was your age. See, Matt, there's hope for you yet, buddy. <laughs> Except for your head is not as big as his. <laughs> well, look, I, uh, I didn't mean to stop you from working and all. I just want to check up on you and say hi. Okay, bye-bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here, Nell, stop. Wait, I know you. You didn't fly 3,000 miles just to say hi. No, I flew 3,000 miles to sing in a club. I walked six blocks to say hi. <laughs> wait a minute, you are singing here in town? All right, how about this? Why don't we all have dinner early and then we'll all come see your show? Oh, honey, I don't want to put you out. No, you know what? It would give you a chance to tell us all the embarrassing stories you know about Joe from when he was your little kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the first time I saw Joey... It was a love at first sight. Uh, I mean, he was so cute, little mop of hair, and always just bashing against one wall or the other with some crazy idea. I mean, hey, everybody! Oh, God, another one. <laughs> <laughs> what time is dinner? <laughs> okay, ship is to our armada as, uh, as B. Adam is to molecule. That's right. Wrong! <laughs> Ship is to Armada as Tadpole is to Frog. Why would you think that, Lloyd? 
Because what holds up the huge sails in those ships? Well, those giant tadpoles, of course. And what lives in the water? Frogs. And Jeez. why am I trying to impress you? You're not a chef. <laughs> Look, Lloyd, I really appreciate your help, but um, everything I know is stacked up in my head. And one extra fact, and it all comes tumbling down like dominoes. Dominoes were invented by the Chinese. Lloyd, or... Lloyd. <laughs> Matt, I know exactly what you mean. One extra fact, and your brain just crashes. Right. Well, uh, how, how about something that you don't need to know on the SATs? For example, did you know that the waffle iron was invented by a man that didn't even like waffles? That's it. Um, you know what would be a good idea? Maybe you could make a list of useless facts and give it to Matt, say, tomorrow. Right, and that way, um, I can memorize them and forget about it on the way to the test. Yeah. And I would be helping, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, a well, lot, man. As long as I can help. All right. All right, back to work. Now, I picked out a really tough one. Okay. Um... A farmer has 120 animals. Some are turkeys and some are cows. Now, if they have 300 feet, oh, how many are turkeys? Okay, uh... okay, take all the time you need. 90! He's right. He's right? How did you figure that out so fast? Simple. I made the cows octopuses and the turkeys cats. And I divided by two. So, now, tell us about Joe when he was little. Oh, come on. Oh, I can do better than that. Oh, no, no. I have... Let's see. What are you doing now? A picture. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Whoa, check out that hair. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what were you thinking? <laughs> Oh, you think that is something? You should see Jolene. <laughs> Let's not talk about Jolene, okay? Oh, okay. Is this another girl from your past? When Joey was about five or six, I was in the kitchen making us some lunch, and he comes prancing in in my pink sweater and ruby red lipstick. I swear to you, he was the prettiest little white girl I ever seen in my life. <laughs> so I said, little girl, what is your name? And he said, Jolene, I'm Joe with twin sister. He was so sweet and cute. We were new to the neighborhood, all right? I didn't have any brothers or sisters to play with. I, I made up a friend. <laughs> yeah, but Joe, a pink sweater with red lipstick? It was the look back then. Ah, here's Jolene. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Uh, Joe... Is it okay if I don't look up to you anymore? <laughs> I'm gonna go study, guys. Hey, it was nice to meet you, Nell. Nice meeting you, too. Don't worry about your test, honey. Maybe Joey will loan you his lucky bunny. You know? Hey, hey, hey. What? Can we leave Mr. Noodles out of this, please? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what, guys? Uh, we should go get ready if we're gonna make this club on time. Oh, club, can I go, please? Oh, honey, you're too young to go to a nightclub. I don't think they'll let you in. Oh, Claire, I think there might be a way around this. I mean, if you don't mind. What is it? Honey, do you know the chicken song? Not the chicken song. Okay. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Dionne Warren told me that I should sing that song. You know, she's a big-time psychic now. Do you know that? And what it gives her the nerve to call herself a psychic, I don't know, because she still doesn't know the way to San Jose. <laughs> I have a very special guest here tonight. I'd like you to meet the newest love of my life, Mr. Andrew Shades Roman. Yeah! Come out. Say hello, honey. Thank you for your kind reception. And as an extra special treat, the original love of my life, Mr. Joe Stinky Roman. Put your hands together. Baby. Take it, honey. Let's go. go. Now, one that Farmer Brown was taking the air after locking up the ball with the greatest of care. And down in the henhouse, something started the shirt. When they shouted, Who's there? Baby, this is what they heard go. There ain't nobody here but a chicken. Yeah, baby. Thanks to you. 
So relaxed, you feel like you're at home in your very own bed. Really? Hey, young blood. Sound pretty good up here, man. Oh, thanks, man. I had a really good teacher. <laughs> oh, Nail. Yeah, she's one of the best. Oh, yeah. You and her go back a ways, I take it. Absolutely, since I was about to Andy's age. <laughs> Andy? I'm sorry. Shades. Oh, shades. <laughs> you know, I played with him once. You did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nail, she forgot her pager again. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss that call. Don't tell me she's still waiting for Hollywood to give her a call. No, the hospital. Well, she's been waiting for a kidney a long time. She should be on top of the list by now. I appreciate it if you run it back to her. Yeah, man. Solid. Cool. Nice playing with you, man. Yeah, same, bro. Nanny, honey. Have you seen my beat? Hey. You looking for this? Joey, you're still here. Yeah. You know how agents are, huh? They'll call you right in the middle of your show. <laughs> yeah, hospitals too. Look at the time. <laughs> so what's going on here, Nell? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It's nothing. What about the surgery? What surgery? The major surgery, Nell. Joey, getting a haircut like you got, that's major surgery. <laughs> Kidney transplant is a big deal. Joey, have you ever seen a kidney? A itsy bitsy little old thing. No more jokes now. Oh, Joey! This is none of your business, okay? Now, if I had wanted you to know, I would have told you, now, wouldn't I? Fine. I just thought that what happens to the woman who practically raised me would be somewhat of a concern of mine. I guess I was wrong. I'll take it. Go on, take it. In case your agent calls. See you around. Oh, oh hey, Nell. Matthew. Uh, we missed you tonight. I mean, your, your brothers, they just blew out the joint. Yeah, you know, um, I'm sorry. I heard you were great, though. I had all the studying to do. Oh, I understand. Man, I am, I am really nervous. Yeah? I mean, did you ever have a test you know would change your whole life? Yeah, um, as a matter of fact, um, I got one coming up. Well, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Matthew, look at me. Have you done everything you can to pass this test? Yeah. Well, then you just have to believe that everything is going to turn out like it's supposed to be. You're right. Well, it's supposed to be. Oh, my God. I'm calm. <laughs> That's incredible. Man, no wonder why Joe always came to you for help. He said he could tell you anything. He, oh, he said that. Yes, he did. Well, now that I've got this window of sanity, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Oh, yeah. Well, you do that, okay? I'm going to get out of here, okay? Oh, hey, no. Yeah? Good luck on your test. Thank, thank, thank you. Uh, Matthew, um, is, is Joey here? Oh, yeah. He's in the kitchen. Joe? Hey. Look, 
I, uh, I came over to apologize. You were right. I should have told you I'm sorry. But see, every time I try to, t to tell someone about it, I get, I get uh, scared. Do you know how many times when I was a kid I got scared now? So scared I couldn't even talk to my mom. And then I would talk to you and you would make it better. Yeah. Come here. Sit down. I want you to give me a chance to be there for you, okay? Give me a pager so when it goes off, I can meet you at the hospital. You need me there. <laughs> I don't want you to be alone for this operation, now. Please. Joey, I love you. <laughs> Nell's having an operation? No. I'll explain it to him, okay? No, no, please. Let me, okay? Oh, what's the problem? What? You said Nell's having an operation, so I'm going to show her how easy it is with this. <laughs> oh, operation. All right. <laughs> yeah, All right. it's a game for practicing doctors. Okay. What might be the problem? Kidney. Easy. All they do is take these tweezers and lift it out like this. Okay. Oh, Stay up. Okay. Bye. Andy! Oh, I'm better with a funny bone. <laughs> Why don't you let me try, okay, buddy? Don't kill me. All right. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Done. <clears throat> Look at that. <laughs> My nose didn't even light up. You see? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be great if Joe was your doctor? Well, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but just knowing that I'll have you and you there is enough for me. Mean it? Yeah, I mean it. All right. So you see, there's nothing to be worried about. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. No? Hmm? You are talking to shades. Are you scared all the time? So what do you do? I sing. The chicken song? <laughs> <laughs> no. Come here, baby. Sit on my lap. Oh, you're as heavy as Joey was. <laughs> I want to sing you something, you know? Something I used to sing to Joey, too, when he was scared. Okay? Precious Lord. Take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am warm, through the dark. Through the night, lead me on to, to the light. light. Take In my hand, precious Lord, Lord, and lead me on. on. Wow, that was great. We should put that in our act. Our act? Isn't this amazing? Isn't this great? I've tasted better. <clears throat> no, I'm talking about Nell singing again. She's been out of the hospital for a month. Yeah, but still no excuse for subpar wings. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a very, very special treat. Please welcome back to our stage the Queen of Swing. The Duchess of Doo-Wop. Give it up for Miss Nell Bascombe. Come on! Yeah.